YouTube, what is up? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's DTV, and I'm back with another banger. And today, we got Richard Pryor, Mafia Joke. But before we go any further, I need you to do me a solid. If you could drop a like and a comment on this video for the algorithm, I would greatly appreciate it. But uh, y'all ready for this one? Let's run it, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. I worked at a mafia nightclub uh, in Youngstown, Ohio. I was 19. I was 19 years old, right? And I didn't know shit about the mafia. Uh, my father was the baddest motherfucker I'd ever seen. So the mafia didn't mean shit to me. I did not relate to the mafia. <laughs> Right. And I worked with this lady, Satin Doll. She was the star of the show. Beautiful black stripper, right? Because usually in those days, they had like, in, in clubs, they had a, a singer and a stripper and MC. I was the MC. And she was the first black star I ever met. Satin Doll. Yeah, I was, because Duke Ellington had written a tune about her. You know, that's what she used to dance to and act. She was beautiful. She was 60 then. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, this bitch was fine what on me. What the man. hell? I'm not lying. Lena Horne didn't have shit on her. And she was crying backstage, you know. I got to get to Buffalo. They won't pay me. I said, who won't pay you? Club owners won't. I said, oh, that motherfucker going to pay me. <laughs> <laughs> and I, now, this is how ignorant I was. I had a cap pistol. Bruh. You know them blank starter pistols? I busted into the office with this motherfucker in my All right, give me the money, motherfucker. <laughs> Doing my best black shit, you know. <laughs> you know that shit usually scare Whitey to death. Oh shit. Yo, but he's but he's dealing with the with the mafia, bro. Like, I don't think I don't think it's gonna work that easy, you know what I mean? And these motherfuckers didn't do nothing. And I'm sure that those men are sitting in that room today laughing. Because that's what this dude, he just started laughing. <laughs> Damn. This fucking kid. Ah. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, Tony, come here. Oh, shit. Wait a minute, Rich, do the gun again. Hey, Tony, come here. Stick up. Ah. <laughs> this fucking kid. Come here. Come here, you fucking kid. He's got a pack of gooses on him, huh? Fucking dick of me. Hey, you know what, though? You know what, though? He got the respect just off of that. You know what I mean? So, yo, dude, dude got some balls on him. That's fire. That's fire. To hug you and rub you. Come here, fuck. And grab your face. You got a manoodle sitting there, huh? This fucking kid got some gooses. Hey, manoodle. And they always say shit you don't understand. You know, like, hey, you want a little cuisine, but don't win. Hey, Paolo, fix him a little bit on the Put some struzzi on, huh? Fry it up. They like fried foods. Oh, my God. Oh, fucking shit. Fucking kid. Ah, he come in here. He come in here. He had a gun. He fucking kid. Ah, new Japan in my God. Ah. Pay everybody off. Pay them off. It's all right. It's going to have time. They paid everybody off. Let everybody go and kept me. Oh, shit. Like a pet. <laughs> I fucking like this. You this fucking animal. Don't you do it. You got family? Well, you got family now. I'm an Ogazan and him. Who is it? Carmine? Tell him I call him back. Tell him it's a stick up. Ah! <laughs> and these motherfuckers oh, start telling murder stories. Hey, you remember when Guzzi? Hey, you remember when I made my fucking bones? Ah, me, I had to go away. It was Cleveland, right? Fucking Teamster. Big mouth hurt a lot of people, right? You know, ice picks my thing, Rich. So we fucking had to drive down. Me, Johnny Salami. Johnny Salami. The Cabuzo brothers. <laughs> they own the funeral parlor. You carry, we bury. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, you fucking kid. Oh, shit. So we take this jerk off our bone, you know, drive him around, get him a few drinks. Say, hey, let's get some bras, right? A little motel we had set up. Remember the Johnny? So we take him around. He gets kind of stoned, drops his glass. I say, now, nah. I pop him with the fucking ice pick, right? 
I'm popping this cocksucker blood, squirting every which way. I'm stabbing. He's, oh God, don't kill me. Oh, fuck you, you guinea cocksucker. <laughs> and the fucking ice pick breaks. <laughs> ah! Oh, shit. I'm standing there with a fucking piece of wood in my hand. <laughs> I said, Johnny Salami, what do I do? <laughs> Johnny says, wait till it melts, asshole. <laughs> Those were the good old days. Bruh. Uh, what's the matter, Rich? You don't look so good. <laughs> hey, Pilo, give me a little Sinini for all. You got a way home? You want us to give you a ride? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Yo, that was that was hard, man. That was hard. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. That was my first encounter with Richard Pryor. Bro, he painted that that picture very, very vividly. You know what I mean? It felt like it felt like he was describing some some mafia movie scene. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, sound off in the comments below. Let me know what is next from Richard Pryor when I get to it ASA. P, but yo, I'm going to end this video right here. If you made it to the very end, you're the real MVP, baby. No cap. If you enjoyed this video, y'all know what to do. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, gang. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Peace.